Agent B here. Man, what a beautiful sunny day it's going to be today here in Southern California. But I want to tell you right off the bat how you're getting four times your equity. Or you could have gotten four times your equity because I'm, I'm going to uh, add a link for this uh, article or this post that I put up. You can check it out on my Instagram stories right now. But they talk about people in 1971, if they were to wait, at that time, rates were in the mid-sevens or low to mid-sevens. And they decided they want to wait for rates to come down. Well, rates went up and up and up and up and up. And 22 years later, they came back to the sevens in 1993. And in that time that they waited for those rates to come down to buy again, the property values went up by four times in that 20 years. Flash forward a little bit here to 2020 when rates were starting to drop into the fours and then 2021 they were getting into the threes and all those people that wanted to compete or didn't want to compete, they said, I don't want to compete. I don't want to be part of multiple offers. I'm going to wait for the market to crash or whatever it is. And they came up with every excuse not to buy. Even the ones that were putting offers in, were like, well, I'm not going up to that level. That's ridiculous. I'm not buying. And now, if those people would have bought then, between then and now, home prices have gone up in some areas 30 to 40% in just three to four years and so right now is your opportunity if you look at the numbers down below you can see the rates are starting to drop a little bit we're in the mid sixes again maybe we'll get even better maybe we'll get the low sixes who knows what the fed's going to do i don't listen to the fed anymore or the predictions of what they might do in june or july or whatever it is we're not waiting for that my clients are going and buying homes right now we're putting the correct offers in to get those homes because we know that by the end of the year, those homes are probably going to be worth, you know, three, four, five, maybe 8% more than what they just bought them for. They're buying them now. So look at all the numbers. Look at the historical data. If you don't want to listen to me, I had someone obviously make a comment on my open house like, well, you just want to buy to this price or want us to buy to this price because you're a realtor. Well, of course I want you to buy a house and, and have me help you. But I'm trying to give you the best advice I can based on historical data and what I see in front of me. We have a house right now in orange, and I'm going to let you know what the price is of, you know, in less than 30 days. But we got a, almost a dozen offers on this house, less than a thousand square feet, two bedroom, one bath, and we're approaching a million dollars on our offers. And so is that overpriced? Should you buy that? Well, people are saying, well, I'm not going to pay that. One lady said, I'm not going to pay that because the market doesn't support that price. Well, if we've got a dozen offers and we're in that range and the market's supporting that price. So you need to look at those things and understand how the market, especially in Southern California, goes, it does not go like this. The Southern California goes like this. <laughs> like that and historical data has proven that so i want you to make sure you're looking at those numbers and understanding what's going on because we do have an uptick in pricing right now the market's getting hotter and if these interest rates do continue to fall just like we talked about last year it's going to get more and more competitive and you're going to see like we did again this last weekend 300 people coming into an open house in two days multiple offers and people kind of in that whole FOMO. It's, some people haven't heard that term FOMO, fear of missing out. And they don't understand what that means because psychologically people are in an open house that's packed and the buyers are in there like, oh man, I got to write a great offer on this thing. And that's what's driving the market right now is kind of that FOMO. But it's real because as they're buying, we're setting a new comp. We're setting a new price, and then the next one sets a new price, and that's going to keep moving. So, of course, don't buy if it's not affordable for you. But if there is a price range affordable for you, and you can get into something now, even if it's your a condo, it's it's a starter home of some kind, and it's not going to be. I told somebody the other day, it's this isn't going to be your forever home. This is your first home. This isn't going to be your last home. So, things to think about when you're out there, out and about. Should we buy? Should we wait? We've been talking about it for a while. If you keep waiting, equity in those homes still keep going up that you could have had. So I want you to get into the market. Of course I do. But I want you to do it at 
the right budget for you. So if you need any help at all, if you're a seller, man, this is a great opportunity right now. I'm telling you, my client, I'm talking to him last night on the phone about these offers. He goes, I've never been in a situation like this, like such a frenzy on the seller side where the buyer's just trying to get these houses. I said, this is where we're at. So I know this went a little bit long, but I'm kind of preaching today and I kind of threw some facts at you and you can check me, fact check me if you want. But housing prices are on the rise right now. Interest rates have taken a little tick down. That means they're going to continue to go that way. We just don't have the inventory still. So if you're a seller, get your house on the market <laughs> because we need them. We're going to start door knocking again, dropping flyers everywhere again. We're going to aggressively hit these neighborhoods to see if anyone, we can shake anybody loose because we got so many buyers out there right now. Okay, I've got to go. I'm in the car. I just pulled up. Got to hit the... Uh, button to open my garage there it goes it's opening up um but i gotta go you guys i hope you have a great rest of your week i hope it's gonna be beautiful like this every day here uh for the next few days it's gonna be fantastic kids i'm coming home from college a little spring break so we got a little got a little fun plan but uh that's it i gotta go agent b here to help when you're ready